good morning students i hope all are doing well and safe at home today we will start our new topic before that today i will show you the few mathematical today i will show you few geometric figure you have to identify okay so our uh, first it is yes it is a small dot okay this is the point we called as in mathematics we called as a point the small the definition of point it is small dot is called as point okay we can label this with in we can label it any any alphabet from a to z we can label it so we can label it is point p okay <laughs> now a uh, um, second it is second figure it is i'll show you you have to identify this figure okay yes what we called in ma in mathematics what we call this figure yes we called as a line okay line is what the collection of point if all points if all points we collect together we join together we get line okay and from this uh, point we have to pick up any two point and we have to label it so we can say it is line ab you can read this line ba also or you can read <coughs> line ab also okay so uh the collection this line has two arrow what we ha have this line has two arrow what this arrow is indicate this arrow is indicate line can extend from both the side okay this line can extend from this side also and this line can extend from this side also so line can extend from both the side it means line has line is not having any end point line is uh, not having any point it is infinite now our third figure it is yes tell me what it is it is line segment yes it is line segment line segment has two end point how many end point is having two end point is having what this end point is uh, indicate this line line segment cannot extend from both the side in day to day life what is the example of a line segment the example of a line segment is we can see the thread thread if we cut it we can see the two end points from both the side same way if we'll take the scale okay so the scale also having two end point correct we can measure this so line segment can measure so our fourth figure is just tell me it is just identify this yes it is what we call we call ray what we call ray ray is having origin point but do not have end point okay this third figure is what we call line segment okay ray and fourth figure it is it is having a origin point but do not have a end point we can take in day to day life we can take the real life example it is what a phrase torch rays okay they having a origin point but do not have a end point same way the sun rays having origin point but do not have a end point okay <coughs> then our fifth one it is yes identify this figure this is we can see it is yes it is angle absolutely correct this is called as angle the if two rays have an if two rays have an common end point okay these two rays are having common end point they form an angle and these two rays are called as i these two rays are called as arm of angle and this common vertex is called this common end point is called as a vertex of the angle okay so we can read this angle 
angle a b c also we can read or we can read angle c b a okay both the way we can read this we have learned in the previous class okay so today we will start our topic is types of angle what we start types of angle so our topic name is types of angle now children see now I'll types of angle depending on the arms position depending on arms position there are different types of angle okay so in total there are six types of angle how many types of angle six types of angle <coughs> depending on arms position we can see uh, the different types of angle okay so there are six type of angles so first it is acute angle which one acute angle okay now the second it is right angle okay second it is right angle then third obtuse angle obtuse angle okay now next is obtuse angle after straight angle straight angle and then fifth one is we'll see the reflex angle and very last it is complete angle complete angle these are the six types of angle first one is acute angle second right angle third obtuse angle fourth straight angle fifth reflex angle and very last it is complete angle so today we will see one by one okay so first we will see the acute angle acute angle okay an angle whose measure is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called as is called an acute angle okay to whom we called acute angle an angle whose measure is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called an acute angle okay so for example we will see the of acute angles example example of acute angle 60 degree 30 degree 45 degree okay so we'll see the practically i'll show you see this is the uh, acute angle means what the angles whose measure greater than zero but less than 90 degrees so we can say this is also the acute angle this is also acute angle this is also acute angle correct so now the example of acute angle it we can say 45 degree is also acute angle then yes seven yes second one is 75 degree also acute angle 65 degree is also acute angle and even 89 degree is also acute angle correct right. these are the example of acute angle acute angle means what we'll see the practically the angle whose measure is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree you can see here here we can see the acute angle correct right. now we'll see the few real life example of acute angle in our day to day life where we can see in a uh, where we can see the acute angle in our surrounding where we can find the acute angle that we will see okay so very first it is the example of a clock in the clock we can see the acute angle okay here you can see the two hands of a clock 
correct between these two hands we can see we can find it here acute angle correct so this is the example of a clock this is the first example of a clock in real life we can see then second it is if we stretch our arms if we stretch our both the arms in a such a way we can find the acute angle here correct so angles formed by arms means if we stretch our hand in a such a way you can find here the acute angle acute angle means what just now i told you acute angle whose measure is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree so here we can see the acute angle this is the second example of day to day life now we'll see the third one many more examples are there we can find it out in our surrounding third it is yummy pizza see here the piece of pizza it's very yummy so here also we can see the acute angle if we cut the pizza uh, in a such a way if if we cut the pizza in a such a way we get the each slice of pizza we can see the acute angle correct so this is the day to day life example again in a day to day life again we can see the uh, more example we can find it out in our surrounding now we just see this knife okay so this tip of knife so here this tip of knife also having acute angle this is also the example of acute angle correct same way if you'll see the pencil this pencil tip also you just observe this here also we can see the acute angle same way if we'll take pen pen is also see the tip of pen is also having a acute angle okay one a more example i'll give you of acute angle now just see this half finger okay this index finger and this middle finger between this index finger and middle fingers this angle is formed this angle is called as acute angle okay so there are n number of example we can see in our day to day life so what is mean by acute angle acute angle means the whose measure is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree that angle is called as acute angle okay now we'll see the we'll move on second angle the name of second angle is what right angle okay the right angle means what an angle whose measure is 90 degree is called a right angle it means the angles whose major exactly 90 degree okay that angle is called as a uh, right angle so what we want exact 90 degree we want measure so we we'll see the practically i'll show you that see if we we'll hold the angle in a such a way we can see here exactly 90 degree correct can you able to see this yes it is right angle the angle here you can see see here you can see between two arms you can find it out you can see the uh, major is you can see the right angle okay now see example of a right angle here also we can see the 90 degree uh, angle is formed here the angle whose major is exactly 90 degree that angle is called as right angle here in day to day life also we can see the right angle isn't it so one example i'll show you see this is our notebook okay now just check this notebook's corner okay this notebook is having a four corners 1 2 3 and 4 so this four corners also having a right angle correct this four corner corners also having right angle we can see here how many right angles are here 1 2 3 and last one is 4 okay same way we can see the textbook see this textbook corners of a textbook also having a right angle correct this is one second third and fourth same way see this table table also having a four corners so the here also we can find it out the a uh, right angle correct now we'll see the few real life example of right angle see corners of a window 
this uh, window is having a four corners we can see here this corner of a window also having a uh, right angle this is also nine because here exactly we can see the 90 degree angle correct so how many angles are here of right angle one two three and this is fourth one correct this is the one more example of a right angle in day to day life we can see this then second it is thumbs up we are doing we are always whenever uh, someone is doing very nice that time we are showing them thumbs up correct so now see thumbs up means see index <coughs> index finger thumbs and index finger in between uh, angle is formed that angle is called as right angle okay this is the second example of a uh, right angle bit c thumb and index finger angle formed between thumb and index finger this is the uh, 90 degree angle this is also we can say the right angle this is the example of right angle now now this is just see the third one again the clock came here we can see the three o'clock okay so between two between this is the two hands of a clock between this two hands of a clock we can see exactly 90 degree angle means here the uh, one turn complete one uh, one one fourth revolution we can see here correct so here it is also we can see the 90 degree angle so these are the examples of a day to day's life example we can see in our surrounding uh, 90 degree angle where we can uh, find it out these are the examples of a right angles okay so right angle means what the angle whose measure is exactly 90 degree that angle is only we can call as right angle correct now now we'll see the third one okay third one is what obtuse angle <coughs> what we call obtuse angle obtuse angle means what an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree the angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree that angle is called as obtuse angle what we call obtuse angle okay now the example of obtuse angle we can see here uh, so 95 degree is also obtuse angle then we can see uh, 100 degree is also the obtuse angle then 105 is also obtuse angle then we can say 178 is also the obtuse angle okay now we'll see the practically okay now obtuse angle means what the angle whose major is who's greater than 90 degree means greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so you can see practically this is also the obtuse angle this is also the obtuse angle and this is also obtuse angle okay uh, now we'll see the few example of a obtuse angle real life example we'll see here the angles formed by stretching arm if we stretch our arm in this way in a such a way if we stretch our both the arms okay then we can see here this angle is formed so this angle is called as obtuse angle what we call obtuse angle okay if we stretch our arms in a such a way we find here obtuse angle okay so obtuse angles <coughs> So, we'll see one more example. See here, hand fan. In the market, we can see the hand fan. In summer, we can see that hand fan, it is coming uh, for purchasing. So, here also we can see the acute, uh, here also we can see the obtuse angle. Okay. Uh, hand fan is also the example in day to day life. This is also the example of a, uh, obtuse angle. Okay now third one we'll see 
example showing the obtuse now many more examples are there in our surrounding uh, n number of angles are there but we have to observe carefully and we have to find it out now here example showing the obtuse angle see this is the chair in this chair also we can see the obtuse angle okay obtuse angle means what the whose major is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree correct so here we can see you can see in her house hangers are there you can see here in hangers also we can find it out the obtuse angle same way here the clock here also we can see the obtuse angle and the last fourth one it is the staircase see here here also we can find it out obtuse angle correct these are the example of uh, obtuse angle which I have given you there are n number of examples are there in, in our surrounding we can find it out obtuse angle correct so I so obtuse angles means what the angle whose major is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degrees so for example 95 degrees also obtuse angle 100 degree is also obtuse angle 105 also 178 also this is also the example of obtuse angle okay now we'll see our next what is our next straight angle okay what we will see the straight angle now the straight angle means what straight angle whose major is exact 180 degree okay a straight angle whose major is exactly 180 degree that angle is called as straight angle so practically we'll see now see i'll show you see exactly 180 degree you can see here wait one minute see here here you can find it out the straight angle correct here you can find out the straight angle means 290 degree we get straight angle okay 90 degree plus 90 degree it is 180 degree so this is the example of uh, 180 degree this is also example of a straight angle now we'll see the few real life example of straight angle okay so again it is clock in this clock what is the time six o'clock okay what the time is given here six o'clock so between these two arms sorry between this uh, two hands we can see the straight angle exact the what is the major of this uh, angle 180 degree means 290 degree if we add we get straight angle correct so how many revolution here half revolution here okay so this is a straight angle this is also the example of a straight angle in day to day life we can see next example showing straight angle where here see here this is a staircase you can see here exactly here they are forming a straight angle 180 degree angle is forming so this is also the example of a straight angle okay so straight angle means what the angle whose major is 180 degree that angle is called as straight angle now tell me in our surrounding where we can see again straight angle yes who will tell me if i will hold this duster like this if i will hold this duster so you can see here the straight angle correct if we hold this duster in a such a way so we'll get here straight angle correct then same way here pen if i hold this pen like this then here we can see the straight angle correct so these are the uh, example of a straight angle in day to day life we can see this in our surrounding n number of angle, straight angles examples are there you have to find it out that so straight angles major is what exactly uh, major what we want 180 degree if the major 
if angle is forming uh, 180 degree measure is if angles of measure it is 180 degree then we can say that angle is called as straight angle okay so now uh, we will see the fifth one what is the name of fifth one fifth angle it is reflex angle what we call reflex angle reflex angle means what a angle whose measure is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree an angle whose measure is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree that angle is called as reflex angle okay so i'll show you the practically okay see this now if i will hold this angle such a way you can see the see the outer outer angle okay this outer angle it is a reflex angle correct so the angle whose measure is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree that angle is called as reflex angle okay this is the example of a reflex angle now in our day to day life the uh, in day to day life also the reflex angle we can see so reflex angles measure is what greater than greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree okay so that angle is called as reflex angle now we'll see in day to day life example where we can see the reflex angle see examples of reflex angle here you can see 244 this outer angle you just check it this is also the example of a reflex angle then we can see the second 248 degree this angle is also the example of reflex angle then the third one it is 255 degree see this outer angle this is also the example of a reflex angle then this fourth one it is this outer 90 degrees outer angle it this is also the 266 degree this is also the example of reflex angle and the very last it is 192 this is also the example of a reflex angle now in our day to day life where we can see if we stretch <coughs> sorry see example showing a reflex angle see this pizza yummy pizza okay now if you will see this outer angle of this pizza okay so this angle is called as reflex angle their major is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree so this is also the example of a reflex angle correct so in day to day life we can see this this is a example of pizza then next we will see see compass okay in our geometry box we can see the compass okay now if i will hold this compass like this way so you can see this outer outer angle if you will see you will see here the reflex angle correct same way in the this picture also shown this is the reflex angle whose measure is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree that angle is called as reflex angle so this is also the example of uh, reflex angle okay then if we stretch our body then uh, there also we can see the reflex angle if we bend our body if we bend our body back then there also we can see there which the angle is formed the right angle also we can say the reflex angle now next it is the very last complete angle okay now the complete angle means what if a rotating ray okay if a rotating ray now this is your ray okay <coughs> if a rotating if rotating ray making a complete revolution on coincides with the initial point okay 
initial position that that angle is called as complete angle means they are making a complete whole one revolution they are completing so that angle is called as uh, complete angle exact 360 degree okay so complete angles whose major is exactly 360 degree that angle is called as complete angle okay so you will see the practically here so now if these are the these are the angle if one ray if i take if complete if we take complete one turn and comes again in their same position then we can see the straight uh, complete angle okay 360 degree uh, we can see here it is called as a complete angle now in day to day life we will see the complete angle example now you will see this wheel so wheel is this ray when uh, take complete one turn okay and comes again in the same position okay their initial position it can so this is the also called as complete angle so complete they are making a 360 degree angle okay so wheel is also the example of a complete angle so this is the day to day life example now second it is example showing example showing complete angle now see this giant wheel okay giant wheel we can see uh, giant wheel also here this is the example of a complete angle okay giant wheel we can where we can see the giant wheel children anyone can tell yes yes fair we can see the complete angle so giant wheel we can see so this is also the example of a uh, complete angle so children today we have learned today we have learned how many types of angle we have learned today acute angle right angle obtuse angle straight angle reflex angle and complete angle so acute angles means what the angle whose major is greater than Zero degree, but less than ninety degree. Correct. Then same way, right angle who is having exactly ninety degree major, and then obtuse angle whose major is greater than ninety degree, but less than one eighty degree. These are the keywords, children. You remember this. You don't have to learn the definition. Okay. Then next it is what straight angle. Straight angle is having. the uh, exactly 180 degree if uh, angles measure if it is there then we can say it is a straight angle and then fifth one it is a reflex angle reflex angle is having their major is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree that angle is called as reflex and very last it is 360 degree complete angle the angle whose major exactly 360 degree that angle is called as complete angle so today we have learned this much okay in the next period we will meet okay good day take care bye bye